Hey guys, what's up? It's Topher Rocks, and I have some more Battlefield Bad Company 2, but this video will not be about the gameplay, however. It uh, will be about uh, some pretty interesting uh, topics. Um, basically, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try and compare uh, YouTube to the pornography industry and uh, basically the film industry, as in uh, Hollywood mainstream. Um, and I'm not doing this to be childish or to be funny, really. I just thought there was a lot of, um, you know, good comparisons between the three different industries. Um, and when I'm talking about YouTube, I'm talking more so about the Call of Duty and, and Battlefield and FPS type of, you know, commentators and, and montage makers and, you know, machinima directors, that type of stuff. Um, and... <laughs> I don't know why. I guess I'm using pornography just because there's, you know, some some decent comparisons, and I've wrote, uh, excuse me, I've written down some notes, and and uh, well, let's get into this. It's going to be hard for me to explain, but uh, but please uh, take this as, you know, a mature type of commentary. You know, it, this isn't really for kids. Uh, you know, when talking about uh, pornography, but I'm trying to do this in, in the most mature way that I can. Not trying to be funny, or I'm not trying to be perverted, or anything like that. It's just, uh, you know, it's an honest comparison of, of three different industries and uh, and how they compare, and, and you know how they're similar. Um, so let's get into this. Um, first off, you know, all three, um, you know, usually a, a great video leads to more exposure, um, basically. Um, and when I say that, I mean, um, you know, you look at. Uh, let's start with the porno industry. Um, there's a porn actress named Lisa Ann. She's uh, known as a MILF in the industry. She, uh, a few years ago, she did a, a video where she played Sarah Palin in a video called Nail and Palin, and um, that got her a lot of exposure, a lot of views, um, you know, a lot of people talking about it, and that led to uh, a lot more jobs for her, and, and that, that led to a lot more fame for her, and of course, a lot more money, I'm sure. And, you know, the same thing is, uh, you know, it's the exact same thing in YouTube. Um, you know, if you make that one great video, um, you know, that can lead to a lot, uh, you know, a lot of stuff. You know, it can lead to, you know, maybe a YouTube partnership or a machinima contract or um, maybe a, a, a dual com with a bigger director. Um, you know, more views for your channel, more subscribers, um, which is always great. Um, and you know the same thing is you know it's the same with uh, movies. Um, you know if if you do a great movie, um, the example I had written down here was Jeremy Renner in The Hurt Locker uh, that came out a few years ago. Um, of course, you know he was you know he was a, a known actor um, before that movie, but uh, I don't believe he had any nominations. Um, you know uh, when it comes to the Oscars or Golden Globes or anything like that, and. Then he did that film, and he, he got a Best Actor nomination, um, you know, at the Oscars, at the Academy Awards, which is a, which is a huge honor. And, uh, you know, he was really, really great in that, in that role, and, and that was a great film, and, you know, that was a great choice by him um, to do that movie. And that led to a lot more jobs. Um, you know, he was recently in The Town last year with Ben Affleck, and he got another Oscar uh, nomination, uh, Best Supporting Actor. Um, I don't, yeah, I guess he didn't win because uh, Christian Bale won for the fighter, which was very well deserved. But um, I think he's going to be playing the new Jason Bourne um, in a new trilogy. And he's also um, in the new Mission Impossible movie, and he's in the Avengers. So uh, that one great role led to really, I mean, that's how he got those other roles. And uh, very well deserved, of course. Um, so, yeah, that one great role or that one great video um, can really lead to a lot more. Um, and, you know, that's the same across all three industries. Uh, next up, I have collaborations. Um, when it comes to uh, the porn industry, um, when you when you think of collaborations, you usually think of maybe like a threesome or, or you know, a four-way, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, with, uh, you know, two or three, four even different, uh, you know, famous actors or actresses, um, you know, in the same video, uh, you know, which basically takes, uh, you know, a bunch of different fan bases and, and makes them one. And, and um, you know, it's really great for both parties to get more exposure and, and uh, maybe help uh, another person get their name out there or something like that. Um, same as, you know, same thing in YouTube, uh, it's, you know, of course it's not a threesome, it's, it's like a dual commentary or something like that, or maybe like a, a collaboration on a montage or, or something like that, um, you know, and it's the same thing to get exposure for each other's channels and, and get more views, more subscribers, and, 
you know, it, it typically works. You know, if if you can uh, if you can do a, a good one um, where you both have good chemistry, and, and same thing is uh, you know it's the same in the film industry as well. Um, you know, you look at a movie like Heat uh, that combined you know Robert De Niro and and uh, Al Pacino in the same movie. Um, you know, those are two actors that typically uh, you know kind of take the reins and and are the lead actors in their movies. They kind of share that, and and you know that turned out to be a great decision you know that was a great movie and you know there's a lot of movies that have done that where you know it's it's two lead actors carrying a movie not just one um you know let's say like uh, public enemies recently i mean that wasn't that great of a movie but uh you know to have two leading men like johnny depp and christian bale was was really great and um you know you, you see it more and more now uh nowadays um you know where you get these two big time names in, in the same uh movie or video on youtube and you know it's usually a great thing or you know a podcast or something like that so collaborations you know that that's uh that goes across all three industries um next thing let's see what we got here uh bad videos um you know uh, you know we of course we all know there's great videos out there but there's also bad videos um a few examples i have down here uh g unit uh in the youtube industry um I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is he uh claimed to have the fastest nuke and and i think he sent that into machinima and uh it turns out he actually faked it i guess he got a bunch of his friends to be on the other team and basically got the the world's fast, uh, fastest nuke but of course that's fake and a lot of people found out about that and uh, you watch his videos now and he, he gets a lot more dislikes than likes uh, just because people will always hold that against him and, and they're never gonna for, uh, forgive him for that uh, he has since apologized and and uh, you know um, you know basically said he was sorry and everything um, but you know it was his mistake and uh, you know he has to deal with that uh you know for the rest of his uh youtube career so um you see that in movies a uh, good example i had in my head was uh john travolta he did a movie called battlefield earth if you haven't seen that you might want to check it out just cuz it's so terrible but it had a lot of hype behind it uh originally and uh basically when it debuted at the box office got terrible reviews um just <laughs> just got hammered by critics and uh and it did not do well at the box office, and you and you still see that all the time. You know, movies like um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Uh, it got pretty good reviews, but really uh, did not do well at the box office. And you know, it really happens every weekend uh, where a movie has a lot of hype behind it, but uh, you know, the people just don't come out to see it. Uh, Green Lantern was like that. Um, didn't get real good reviews. Didn't. Uh, it's having trouble making its budget back. Um, and you know, that happens on. Uh, you know, in the porno industry as well, probably not as much because porno it, it doesn't really vary that much. Um, you know, it's just sex and and stuff like that. But uh, you know, people uh, you know maybe they do a disgusting thing or just just do a horrible horrible scene and, and just turns out uh, terrible. And you know that could lead to less work for them. And you know, same thing happens in Hollywood, and uh, same thing happens in YouTube. Um, you know, uh, and personal life can also affect uh, you know it can affect you in all three industries uh you know when it comes to youtube you look at a guy like jx23 who had the whole sex scandal thing and i don't know if he's done a video since then i doubt it but i think he uh closed down his channel uh for the time being and uh trying to recover his image i guess and happens in movies all the time you look at a guy like nicholas cage um he lost a bunch of money um, i think his accountant like mismanaged his money or something like that and that led to him taking a lot of film roles he probably wouldn't have taken uh, recently. You've seen him in a lot of different movies, and a lot of them have not been very good. But uh, you know, I'm assuming he took those roles so he could try and recoup uh, some of his money back. Um, you know, I'm sure you know he lives pretty well and he has a lot of stuff to pay for, so he has to keep working and, and uh, you know keep that money in because he lost a lot of it due to you know bad uh, money management. And uh, Wesley Snipes, uh, that happened to him as well, and that really affected his film career. And I believe he declared bankruptcy, and you know he's still trying to recover his uh, his image and uh, and his financial well being as well. Um, you know, porno. I haven't really heard too many, you know, type of things, but usually when actresses get pregnant, you know, of course that's going to affect their work and they won't be able to work, uh, you know, in the pornography industry. Um, or if they get a divorce, um, a lot of uh, a lot of couples work in the pornography industry and, you know, if they're getting a divorce, of course that's going to affect their work and, you know, especially if they work with their husbands a lot. 
uh, that could definitely have a you know negative effect on their on their careers. Um, so really, personal life uh, it it does affect all three industries, um, as I've stated. Uh, what else we got? Uh, who you know, you know that typically affects all three as well. Um, you know, you look at YouTube. You know, if if you know a couple big name commentators, that can really help your channel get started. Um, you know, even if you don't put that great of content out there, it's 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 almost like who do you, who you know um, to get noticed on YouTube these days. Um, it really helps um, the film industry. You, you see a lot of uh, friends work together, or, or they get a role in a movie because they uh, they know uh, you know they're good friends with an actor, or director, or something like that. Uh, you look at Clint Howard; he's in all of his brothers. Uh, you know, who's Ron Howard, of course. Uh, he's in all of his brother's movies. Even though he's not uh, a real great-looking guy or a, or a great actor, he still gets uh, those film roles, which is cool. But uh, looks like this is the end of the gameplay. I'm going to have to continue this with a part two, I guess. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later.